Hello YouTube, if I do a quick video, um, this amplifier does need quite a bit of power. I mean, what I mean by power is current. So you gotta have a pretty good power supply and I have that one that's 30 amp. And I'm gonna show you something that's interesting. Let's see if we can do this here. Okay, there it says 21 watts output, okay? I'm gonna do a quick test here, I wanna show you something. Radio check, one, two, three, four. 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 Okay, so as you saw, that is about 21 watts, and that's plugged into the power supply. Now, if I unplug this and plug into my cigarette lighter, yes, I know the truck's not running, but that's I don't want the truck running because... If I do this as a temporary repeater site, I don't want to leave my truck run as I'm um, driving around checking out the uh, um, range test. So I plugged it into my cigarette lighter and watch what happens. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Fourteen watts compared to twenty-one watts. So that tells me a couple things. Um, obviously, this thing needs really good power, or you're going to lose wattage. Um, the other thing that it tells me is that maybe, perhaps, the wiring for my cigarette lighter can't handle the draw. So maybe if I do a direct connection to the battery, you know, take buy a cigarette lighter. Uh, socket hook it right to the battery with a fuse and maybe that might be able to pull more current but yeah it's, it's a big difference it's like i say 21 watts to 14 watts and uh and that's plugged into the cigarette lighter as you can see right there and i don't have it plugged into the power supply which is down there so yeah that's that's quite interesting um i just wanted to share that with you guys uh, later on, when the weather permits, I'll do more digging into this. But like I said, if you're driving your vehicle, it may not be a problem. But if you're parked, you're going to lose some wattage, um, you know, which, you know, it's not a big deal if you're driving. But like I said, I can't leave my truck run while I am um, have a part and I'm out doing distance test. I want to park my truck onto a bluff that's about 600 feet above the city. And I want to see what happens. And I got permission from the park and rec to do this, to do a repeater test. So I don't want to leave my truck running because it's a hike up to the bluff. And uh, by the time I get down the bluff and drive around the city, it could this could take an hour or so. And I, don't, I just don't want to leave the truck running. So we may have to bring an external battery because I don't, you know, uh, maybe I could do that and just hook the... Um, um, cigarette lighter socket right to the battery not use my truck battery I could do something like that but at any rate I'll have to do some more measuring maybe I'll get the, I'll get the current meter out and measure the current draw just out of curiosity but but there you have it I just want to show you this tad bit thought it'd be important to know um, if you have uh, any questions or comments please post down below and please subscribe and thank you